Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Hey! Today we are back with the Lothario Caliente family and yeah, last time we were with them, Don proposed to Nina and some of you were like, oh no, oh no, I don't see that working out at all, but let me tell you something. This little girl right here, Olivia, has changed Don in a way that he never expected. And I know a lot of you said you just have had no luck getting him to, you know, get rid of his womanizer ways but I have faith okay I'm not saying that he's not gonna have like a side eye at some women he's not gonna get tempted but for him to even try like this it means a lot like it really does and I'm so freaking excited for this little family I really am so for sure before we end season one of Pleasant View I oh stop you know what honestly okay pause I want to make smart milk because I don't know. Did we pause? Okay, let me figure this out real quick. <laughs> Did we? Okay, so she knows how to walk. She knows how to potty. She's potty trained, so she needs to learn how to talk. Yeah, so we're going to give her smart milk. Hopefully, Dawn can figure it out, and we can teach her to talk super quick. Um, but anyways, before we end season one of Pleasant View, yeah, I do really want to have Don and Dina get married, and it looks like he did not do very well, so that's not gonna work, but you know what, it's okay. Do we have any leftovers? Because we're, we're hungry, and I don't think we do, so we're gonna serve some breakfast, oh my gosh, seriously. All right, well, we need to work on our cooking skill, because this is frustrating, and I need to dismiss this nanny, uh, because Don does have the day off today, so he is going to be able to care for um, Olivia while Nina, oh my gosh, better get up, girl, and go to work. So, the last part, also, I did have Nina work on some of her skills. She is in the slacker career, so off camera, she ended up coming home from work, and she actually got a promotion, so she's now a convenience store clerk, so now she just needs to earn the charisma skill for her next promotion, but, okay, did she miss work? She missed work, didn't she? Hmm. I mean, can we not, like... Okay, hold up. Can't you do this? Drive to work. All right, we're taking the car to work, Dawn. Sorry, but, like, we're running a little bit late. But granted, she didn't get home until 3 o'clock in the morning, and then she had to get right back up the next morning because of her new shift. But anyways, yes. So, we're going to be hanging out with Dawn today. We're going to have him teach Miss Olivia how to talk because she is only two days away from becoming a child so i do believe in this part she is going to age up i cannot wait to see what she looks like i, I love her i'm just i'm just so thankful for this little girl and what she's done for this family and for dawn uh so yeah like i said some of you just aren't a fan of dawn but i'm trying to give the typical storyline a twist i feel like most of the time we see dawn being just a continuous man whore but I really have faith that he's going to be a good dad. Maybe him and Nina won't work out in the long run. I'm not really sure. But I know one thing for sure. He's going to be a dang good dad. And he's going to take care of his little girl. He really is. He's going to... Uh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, you could have picked that trash up too while you were at it. But thank you for just freaking throwing it in the floor. Okay, so anyways, we're struggling because, you know, cereal, <laughs> The Sims 2, does not get your hunger up very well. But anyways, yeah, we're going to dismiss her, like I said, because she's not really much help. She just kind of makes a mess. And even when we're at work, she kind of just doesn't really take care of Olivia. Unless Olivia has to eat, she doesn't really do much else. Just walk around making a mess. She really doesn't even clean. Okay, granted, she was trying to clean, but... <sighs> She needs to go. She just needs to go. So, we'll, we'll see you later. We got it from here. Thank you. I appreciate it. This house is a freaking pigsty. And you know what? I need to call. We're going to call services. Uh, I was going to call the maid. <laughs> just out of curiosity to see if it would be Kaylin um, that came. Which, him and Kaylin are still like BFFs forever. But they don't have a relationship anymore. So, no romantic relationship. 
But then again, it's like, okay, I just said he was going to change. I think Nina would be furious if she found out he had hired Nina to, or not Nina, Jesus, I'm so confused, uh, Kaylin to come and clean their house. So what I'm going to do is hire a exterminator because we have a really bad roach problem and then I want to call a gardener because the weeds in our yard have gotten a little bit out of hand and Don is a pretty boy he's not gonna go get his hands dirty and garden it's just not him so we're going to yep hire a gardener now how is Olivia oh Olivia's got a potty so um Okay, do you want assistance? Yes, we do. All right, let's pick her up real quick. Hurry up, hold her, and we're going to put her down here once we pick her up so she can use the potty. And then, oh my gosh, so much to do, so much to do. I really need to have him come down here and eat a little bit more so his hunger doesn't continue to freaking diminish. Um, we also need to clean up around the house, and we also need to teach Olivia how to talk. But, you know, keeping up with this, the needs here is just a big problem. What time does Nina get home from work? So she gets home at 3 p.m., so that's not too bad. And, oh, oh no, that's not bad at all. Her energy is actually pretty high, so she shouldn't struggle too, too much. Okay, so Nina is home from work, and she is disposing of the funky run ro roaches. Ro roaches. <laughs> and look how nice our yard looks. Wow. That was a great idea, hiring that, um, <laughs> hiring that gardener. But anyways, so her energy is up pretty good. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, probably kind of dispose of some things around here so we can kind of start keeping up with the house a little bit because... Yeah, no, we just kind of, Don is a slob, so he makes a mess everywhere he goes, and I do believe he has taken a, a nap since he was on night shift, so he's a little backwards when it comes to his schedule, but as far as him getting a promotion soon, he has a few skills he needs to work on. What What is, what is going on here? What is, what is this? Hold on. Hold, hold up, hold up. What is this? sweep okay i'm confused hey don are we still friends i never hear from you anymore so i figured i'd check in to see what was going on would it kill you to make an effort every once in a while don has the day off today okay cool okay we're not gonna be friends with you because we're trying to be a better man <laughs> anyways looks like whatever that was she is cleaning up it must be what why is why can't she sweep it up and clean it up Maybe it's from the exterminator. Why is she crying? I don't know what is going on. Why is she so aggravated? Is it because of her environment? Okay, must have been the problem. Oh my god, who is that? Oh my god, y'all. I thought that was freaking Mortimer. You can't tell me that does not look like Mortimer. Kind of, okay. Mm, maybe not, but from a distance, I, I really I thought that's who it was. Alright, so let's recycle this newspaper here. And come upstairs and try to shower up and clean up. Oh, so it looks like Olivia is awake. So I guess what we can do. Um, okay, does she does she have a decent cooking skill? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, ugh, I need to cook, but it's such a struggle because nothing satisfies their hunger unless they have a, a high cooking skill. I guess we can have him rest for a little bit longer and then have him get up. I'm losing my voice. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> have him get up and come and teach her how to talk because I think, actually, Dina, Nina, Nina, <laughs> I cannot get their names right. Nina was the one that taught her how to potty train and walk. So let's have Dawn teach her a skill as well, and I want her to come down here and study some cooking skill because we need help. We need all the help we can get. All right, so Dawn, thankfully, was able to successfully make some smart milk for Olivia here. We're gonna clean up this baby food. Actually, we can probably just put the leftovers away, I guess. Um, so now we're able to teach her how to talk 
and she is going to learn that skill fairly quickly which is going to help us out because his spun is down and uh, he probably doesn't want to fool with this <laughs> very long because he'll be hungry soon anyways so she is oh okay she's not she's doing pretty good okay so she's level two i'm gonna try to get her at least to level three before i have her um cook dinner because yeah i need to have um, a decent meal so right now okay we can cook spaghetti that's not bad we can cook spaghetti mac and cheese and an instant meal so let's see what get into level three if it'll give us another option for a meal that'd be great all right, so Olivia now knows how to talk, thanks to Daddy, which is really sweet. So, um, I guess, can she go upstairs now? I thought that she would need some help. Why? Where are these freaking roaches coming from? All right, you know what? Okay, ugh, so annoying. All right, seriously, I mean, I I'm, I'm annoyed. I don't know where they're coming from, but let's, um, oh, oh my gosh, hold Olivia. Okay, okay, I'm gonna... Oh my god, that is disgusting. They are freaking everywhere. Oh my god, the funk. Like, I said this house was funky, but I've been trying to clean. Where is this coming from? But I'm going to have him come and sit her up here once more so she can potty since she can't climb up the stairs. Um, are you serious? Come answer the phone. Let's see, did that even give us another option to serve? Okay, it did. We can now serve hamburgers or chef salad. So we're going to do that after we see who's calling. Oh my gosh, please pick her up. I know that the roaches are grossing you out. Me too, but you're... Olivia's about to freaking TT on herself. So put her down here. Hello, you have been selected to try out our new magazine. Would you like to subscribe to Cuisine Magazine? No, I mean, <laughs> we're not really... What? What? why what is the problem why can't he i'm so confused can we go here with her after we pick her up okay there i mean <laughs> whatever hurry she's about to have a bladder failure but she's almost there she's like a little fairy or something that's so weird but okay yeah i know you're struggling but our hamburgers are almost done you know what I'm calling the exterminator again. I'm not sure if they're going to come this late, but so I don't forget. He is literally stressing out, and I don't know if this is like because we're cursed or something, but, or maybe it's because of this. It might be. You know what? What if, can I move this? Hold on. Let, let me, let me figure this out, you guys. Okay, maybe not. I was trying to move the stairs so I could get behind them, but it won't let me move the stairs. But I don't know. that like It doesn't make sense for the roaches to be downstairs when that is upstairs. But honestly, I don't even know at this point. I bet this exterminator guy is sick of us calling, probably thinking we are some funky freaking people. <laughs> I mean, which we are. Don't get me wrong. Okay, are you going to come today? No, first thing in the morning. Crap. Okay, whatever. So we're going to have a hamburger... And then, I think we're going to woohoo. You know what? I really do. I think we're going to woohoo. Uh, because they, well, he needs to get his fun up. And, I mean, it's Don Lothario. What better way to have fun? You know what I'm saying? Ew. That's so freaking ratchet. <laughs> okay, let's put away the leftovers. See how that meal fills him up a lot quicker than eating freaking mac and cheese would? I mean, it, it makes sense. But it, it, it low-key, like, obviously, high-key frustrates the hell out of me. So anyways, yeah, let's get him ready to go back to bed because he is freaking exhausted and I'm going to have her, um, okay, well, she's going to go up here and cuddle Olivia. I guess Olivia probably needs to have a bath before she goes to bed. Um, I'm not really sure if she's putting her in her crib. She might be putting her in her crib because she is kind of sleepy, but if not, we're, we may try to bathe her before we put her in the bed. Nope, okay, we're going to put her in bed, which is fine, that's fine, um, you know what, we're just going to go to sleep too, let's just, let's just have everybody go to sleep, and then we wake up in the morning, um, let's see, who works, do we have work, yes, yeah, she works from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m., and he has another day off, okay, cool, so we're going to age up Olivia tomorrow. Alright, so it is the next morning, and Nina actually has to go to work in an hour. I, uh, okay, she's bathing Olivia, but I really want Olivia to age up this morning before uh, Nina goes to work, because I obviously want Nina to be here when she ages up, but 
I want her to spend some time with her daddy as a child. Like, before, I do believe the snow is starting to melt. But hopefully, we can come, like, make some snow angels and build a snowman with our dad. Which would be super cute. When I say our dad, I feel like I'm talking about, like, mine and your dad. But, like, her dad. <laughs> um, so, anyways, yeah. He's going to come over here and watch his little girl age up. I'm so excited to see what she looks like. And then, of course... We're going to have to redo her room a little bit because she can't sleep in that toddler bed no more because she's a big girl. <laughs> she's so freaking cute. I love them. I really do. I, I, I think they're the perfect little family right now. I mean, right now. Right now, they're, they got it going on. Oh, she's so cute. I'm obsessed with this little girl, y'all. I really am. Olivia has grown into a child. As a toddler, Olivia achieved the aspiration level of precarious preschooler. That's great. Olivia is well on the way to perfection. I agree. This little girl is so cute. Okay, y'all, she's about to potty on herself, so she is running upstairs. Um, and then she's going to come back down and probably have some cake. But real quick, off camera, before we kind of hang out with um, Dawn and Olivia and have them come play in the snow a little bit, I really want to do her her room give it a little makeover all right so I gave Olivia's room a little makeover because she is a princess like so cute like this little princess theme room I think it's so cute I love this with the little dolls up here oh so cute <laughs> but anyways look she wants to be BFF with Dawn I am obsessed with their relationship it is so cute but anyways I want to have her come down here and grab some cake and what is Don doing he is being nosy wanting to know what is going on what is this but anyways he needs to have a little bit of fun he also needs to eat too but anyways this freaking exterminators but <gasps> penguin oh my gosh I really want her to come out here and see the penguin too but she needs to eat I hope he doesn't leave okay can we make him stop pet oh my god I think he's walking away no oh darn okay well you know what maybe next year i don't he might come back oh my gosh she's <coughs> already done eating that cake that was fast but anyways i'm gonna have her come out here and make a snow band and where did he go where what, what is what, what you doing okay yeah it must be coming from this so i'm gonna have to brainstorm on a way to get that crap out of here but anyways oh my god i'm gonna have him come over here and make a snowman while freaking olivia is just taking my heart she is just taking my heart she is so cute oh my god i love her and i do think that once he starts building a snowman we'll have the option for her to join him i mean at least i hope so she's still making snow angels all over the yard isn't she allowed to help him can't you do that? Maybe she's going to have to come over here and make one with him. So he's showing her how to make one. And she's like, oh, that's so cool. <gasps> the penguin is back. Okay. Um, okay, look. Before we do that, she's like, uh, wh what? Did the penguin just transform into this guy? Did that just happen? Or did it just disappear? I, d I don't know. I don't know where it went. That I is that I'm so confused. Did y'all just see that? <laughs> but anyways, look at these two. They are so freaking cute building their snowmans together. My heart can't take it. But I, I really do think that Don is going to be a really great dad to Olivia. I mean it when I say this little girl has changed him. <laughs> so what are you doing? Did you give up? Resume building. You have to teach her how to do it. Oh, he was waiting on her to catch up. That is so cute. <laughs> Alright, you guys can like go away. We probably need to check our mail to pay our bills. Um, and then, okay, off camera, I'm probably going to have her go shopping, Olivia, because I don't really know what her clothing wear is. Um, so, yeah, we may have to, you know, tweak her clothing. But let me try to grab some cute screenshots of this. Don't mind me real quick. Okay. Um, well, first off, she's freezing to death. So, that's cute. <laughs> I mean, that's not cute. She is, she's freezing to death. So, let's, let's, let's come inside. 
apparently this outerwear is is not very warm she's super cold she's like daddy i'm cold all right so it says nina the store is empty except of course for crazy bill who just hangs out in the canned goods section talking about how he used to work for some big company that invented apricots so dina decides to walk around the store with a broom and pretend she's sweeping she spots a coin beneath the frigly freeze machine and jams the broom back behind the compressor to try to get it out the machine goes haywire and starts spewing frozen frigly liquid everywhere should nina try to fix it with duct tape or with chewing gum I feel like Nina would just take the gum in her mouth and try to fix it. So Nina crams wad after wad of minty tooth and dental gum into the spout of the Frigley Freeze machine. The gum seems to stop the leak, but just as Nina begins crafting a reason for why she shouldn't have to mop the floor, there's a shuddering groan from behind her. Nina looks over at Crazy Bill, then at the Frigley Freeze machine, then back at Bill who yells, set the tablet or set the, set the tablet, y'all, I can't freaking read, I'm blind. Set the table as the machine explodes in a shower of fire and Frigley flavored ice. Nina loses one mechanical skill point and spends the rest of her shift mopping off the ceiling dang <laughs> oh darn but anyways um yeah we're gonna have her try to warm up a little bit because she um yeah she's she's cold so we're probably gonna have her just come up here and sleep in her warm bed um she looks yeah she looks very sickly i, I feel terrible let's see who's calling and then we're gonna wrap this part up um i think it's pretty been Pretty, I think it's been pr pretty, I can't talk, it's been pretty successful. Hey, Don, is Nina available to talk? No, and who are you? <laughs> so anyways, let's clean up this mess here. But yeah, we're going to wrap this one up. I think it was pretty successful, you know. I think we have a cute little family going on here, strong little family. This little precious princess, she looks like she has um, frostbite. I mean, she's still a little princess, though has her daddy wrapped around her finger and it's the cutest relationship i've probably ever seen so anyways let me know what you guys think about that do you agree with me do you think that he's really going to try to change for his daughter i think he will he's going to try his dang hardest that's for sure but anyways you guys if you liked it be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not and with that being said i will talk to you guys later bye